Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Group Chat. I know you were probably like, gosh, can the weekend just end sooner? I need my group chat. Wow. You know, I want my group chat. I like that. Pete, I know you you felt that way. I, I remember when you were walking in, you were like, gosh, guys, I hate weekends because I don't get to see you for two days. <laughs> um, okay, we got a lot to talk about, and we have a special guest. Very special we guest. We have a, a con uh, artist. A little oh. con artist. <laughs> yeah. Who do we got? He's our man, Ash, from actually from our run club. Yes. And he actually pitched us this idea oh, probably a year and a half ago that he said he was going to work on it. Yeah. And now it's alive and well. And he's a con artist. There you go. The company's called Con. <laughs> Skincare for men. K-A-H-N. Uh, and I would say this is kind of a, you know, I'm not trying to say like, Run Club did this, but this is the epitome of Run Club. Yeah. You guys right. are running. You're talking about ideas. This one came to life. And th- it, after you run, apparently you have to wash your face. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, well, now you know. We also talk about how often do you use this soap. Yeah, <laughs> apparently not very often. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Um, okay, and we have a lot of news to talk about. Yes. We have a little conspiracy section. I know everyone loves that. Ooh, Dee's wait. went deep on the conspiracies. I'm starting to get a little nervous, but like no big deal. Deep time. state. Yeah. Early content <laughs> recommendations. Um, also, we're going to talk about like I I hung up the uh, micro celeb title quite a while ago. But your price Turns has out, gone up. I was wrong. The prices went up. <laughs> so the ultimate sign in 2021 of if if you are a celebrity or not, I have passed the test. Yes, you're you are. Everyone get your money ready. I got a good opportunity for you. <laughs> um, and then we have a lot of stuff to talk about. We're talking about this voting stuff going on in Georgia. Um, we're talking about obesity and how we could cure it. I think we figured it out. We figured it all out. I formed a committee. We also really need some help from a doctor on this episode because we have a lot of, we made a lot of medical opinions that are probably. <laughs> that are probably <laughs> medical claims. true. Yeah. Um, and then last but not least, you know, trolling is the new form of uh, effective communication in this new age. And we probably are going to talk about, I don't know, maybe the best. Um, troll uh, of 2021 so far? I, Maybe? I would extend it beyond that. I think uh, he's been doing it for the last three, four years. Okay. Maybe okay. the best to do it. There you go. We're going to talk about it. Uh, buckle up, guys. Time for some group chat. Pete, bring those ass and those thighs. Cash. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, group chat. Cash. Cash. Welcome back. Let's talk about con. Yeah. So what's the con here? What's what's the con? Do, do you call <laughs> your graphic you designers? Uh, are your graphic designers called con artists by any chance? Yes, they are. <laughs> content is spelled uh, content. Uh, content yes, king. Exactly. Oh, uh, man. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, what do we got here, man? This, this, uh, is, this, is, me, this is for men? Yes, it's a men's skincare kit. <laughs> okay. When I heard skincare, I was like, okay. <laughs> no, talk no about. This, is, this is good for you. Okay. You should try it. I have a fun fact on skincare. You I do a lot I probably of it. never washed my face. I know I never washed my face. Yes, we know because I know that you also purchased the product and I knew you never used it. Because <laughs> I delivered it and I texted you, did you get it? You're like, it's somewhere in the office. Uh, <laughs> yeah. someone, hey, I you know, it. someone reaching their 40s <laughs> and drinking a lot of tequila. I feel like you should be using it. But Even look, washing I mean, my face? Skin. Look at the skin. Yeah, yeah. it's good. It's glowing. <laughs> <laughs> it must be the athletic greens, you know? <laughs> That's right. It's got to be, it's gotta be That's something. So good. So, I mean, uh, tell us about it, man. What What, what is it? So this is a three-step skincare kit uh, for guys. It's a cleanser, a hyaluronic acid serum, and a moisturizer. Um, The reason that I developed this for men is because I was facing skincare issues myself Mm -hmm. or skin issues myself. Mm -hmm. What were Uh, your skin issues? uh, I get… So I… And it's a balance of not having a skincare routine and then also some dietary things. But I would get some breakouts on my forehead… Um, and I also had like dark circles and just overall really oily skin. So like I'll be going throughout the day and then I just like look in the mirror and I'm shiny. Mm-hmm. Right. And I had no idea why and what are any things like what causes any of these things. And yeah. I had to ask my, you know, my girl cousin to take me to Ulta. And uh, that's when I kind of just like saw all the products out there and I was sort of overwhelmed. Nothing really spoke to me. It was all really marketing towards women. Yeah. But wait, let me make a quick question. Yeah. 
Why did your girl cousin have a ticket to Alta? Do you not have a driver's license? Or are you unable to? <laughs> Here we go you again. Walk into Alta. Yeah. I was so like, like, like yeah. wait, wait, you can't no. go by yourself. <laughs> Actually, it happened. It happened that we were together, and I was complaining about this, okay. and she's like, "Oh, let's go to Alta. I'll, I'll help okay. you get a skincare routine." And I thought you were like, you know, didn't know how to get there. No, no, I know how to get like, there. Where's I that Alta thing that you're, that you're always? I going see to. all these girls in Alta. It's yeah. weird. It's such a like. I feel like it's like a girly. Thing. Exactly, and guys you don't say want that? to do that. I don't Are know. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> Can you say girly Tim? I'm gonna be honest. I said it. I was a little hesitant to say yeah. it. Yeah. I don't even know if you're allowed to say girly anymore. No, I'm, well, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna permit it. This, this okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, think we, I like the woke police. I, yeah. I want to yeah. keep that. Yeah, have a good woke woke police. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, then if anybody tries to cancel us, we just cancel Tim. Yeah, because he's the one who proved it. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, and rather than saying it's girly, I just think you could say that guys, for the most part, don't really want to go in there, and when they do go in there, they're kind of overwhelmed by all the products the smell that they is see. what does it for me yeah. it is just overwhelming <laughs> too much fragrance yes. yeah and people are like trying stuff yeah. and just, and I, don't just know, like, I don't know where okay. to get in yeah exactly that's literally what happened to me and so I, I worked with the beauty associate my cousin we kind of got myself a skincare routine that I could use but it was 200 bucks and I was like whoa like $200 no, for yeah, what three products like and how long did that last you? A couple months? That lasted me. I mean, I was like being super, like, you know, like barely <laughs> screaming. <scooping, like, laughs> $200? Yeah. This lasted him six years. <laughs> yeah. I still have it today. it with water. <laughs> no, but that that led me to kind of being… Like, and I, I was… I'm in sort of the beauty industry. So, I was just like, I think there's a way to make a product for men that would make this one easier and two just like streamline and like deliver it to my house like a subscription almost. Yeah. And so that sort of got me going down the path of figuring this out. And when I went to my dermatologist, he recommended basically these three products that we have here yeah. in their in a different form, obviously. And I sort of just like went and worked with a cosmetic chemist and with the dermatologist to create this routine that basically all guys should be using. And so good for you. Walk me through why I need to do all three. So the first step is cleanse. That's the first step of every skincare routine. And it's one thing that you have to be doing because it's basically like if you take a shower and you use soap for your body or body wash, which I hope you do, this is basically that for your face because those products have two… The surfactants, which are basically the cleaning agents, are too strong for your skin on your face. So when you go running or you go working That's out… That's if your skin is weak. <laughs> Yeah, D also doesn't use body soap. Yeah, he just, <laughs> he's like Steve Jobs. He just eats apples. Literally, when it rains, no it, yeah, it's it's literally I'm a cactus when it, guy. When it rains, he goes outside, and that's it. Exactly. But so you really need to be washing your face at least twice a day. Uh, twice a day? Yeah, just morning. You know, it's just like it's less time than brushing your teeth. You gotta brush your teeth. You gotta wash your face. Okay. But if you don't really want to do it in the morning, at least at the bare minimum, you should do it at the evening because you just went through a day of like, you know, you're getting the environmental toxins. You might mm -hmm. have been working out. Like for me, it's crazy to even think like working out and then after working out, not washing your face. And it's become part of my lifestyle and my daily routine. So that's why it's it's like… I don't even like think twice about it. It's just like what I do. And most of the people around me that I've gotten onto this, it's become second nature for them as well. And then the second step is repair, which is a hyaluronic acid uh, serum. And that serum basically, hyaluronic acid is this chemical compound that holds like 2,000 times its weight in water. So the biggest cause of things like wrinkles and, you know, getting fine lines, which again, that's why it's a good anti-aging routine. Yeah, is that, that I actually care about. Yeah. <laughs> so you're, it's because your skin gets dehydrated. And when it's dehydrated, that's when the wrinkles start showing even more. So by using the hyaluronic acid serum, which has like vitamin E and aloe vera, all these things sort of repair and also prevent um, aging. And the last step is the moisturizer. And the reason why you need the moisturizer, which is what I learned about why my face was so oily, is that when your face is dry it reacts by overproducing oil. So if you actually mm. hydrate it, it's like body lotion. So if you moisturize it, then your face doesn't need to produce the oil and you create like a, a good shine on your face, like a solid matte finish. That's know? funny because I always used to like, especially when I had skin issues, I, I would always shy away from uh, like lotion and stuff because yeah. like, it's just going to make my face oily. Right. You know, like, that's why I always thought. Right. And that's what I thought too. Medication, right? I took the hardcore, what's that like shit steroids, called? steroids, right? Uh, did, um, the acne, Accutane? Accutane, yeah. yeah. That like, the worst. Rise the hell out of your face. Yeah, I'm still and waiting for the side effects. That's yeah. scarier than the vaccine. Yeah, yeah. honestly. Your you know penis I mean? falls off. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> at age 40. It starts yeah, this, I heard there's some bad ones. We, we'll remove all the acne, but your penis will fall yeah, off. You only have a dick <laughs> Okay, 40. I'm in. Have you ever heard of side effects for a pharmaceutical ad? Oh, it's the scariest It may thing cause 
every ailment on earth. I mean, with Accutane, you have to go monthly and get blood tests to make sure like your liver Never. isn't failing. Yeah. And they give it to mm-hmm. kids at a young age. Yes. It's not even like they wouldn't give it to you now. They would be like when you're 18, they're like, yeah, yeah take this. Yeah, I loaded up on that yeah. shit when I was <laughs> I know 21. there's kids at like 16. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I still, to this day, that's why I use chapstick so much. My lips never recovered. Right. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah, they go straight to chap. You need that's some crazy. fucking moisturizer. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. 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 Really I know. I'm not kidding. We're I we're never working, used chapstick in my life. We're working on a chapstick. That's going to be I'll good. I'll take yeah. it, man. I, I never used chapstick until I took Accutane and ever since then. I, I, wow. I Side effects. Side Chap effect. lips for life. For life. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, That's so I great. don't recommend that necessarily. Yeah. Um, so this seems like a much better route. Yeah. And for things like you took that to prevent, you know, to get rid of acne. Mm-hmm. That's more of a targeted thing. And there's definitely skincare routines to help that. Mm-hmm. I think, you know, for us down the line, we'd like to introduce a kit for people who do have that issue mm-hmm. and more of like a holistic skincare approach rather than taking the medicine got it but in really severe cases you got to go to a dermatologist and that's probably what they're going to recommend even today you know what i mean but that's for super severe cases and how much is all this so it's 70 dollars and for all three for all three yeah okay cheaper than 200 cheaper than 200 which is where my you know where my goal was (laughs) And, and where are you uh, selling it? Is it on, mainly on your website? So or, or right now we're on our website and uh, we're in barber shops because nice. my I believe that you know men's first intro into grooming and self care is in the barber shop. So yep. we've gone into a few barber shops. Are you in Fantastic Sam's? No. <laughs> super cuts? No. So you go for more boutique. Boutique. Yes. yes. I'm a, I used to be a big a few super local cuts ones guy. around I was a big here. Super cuts. Guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got. I'm in a barber shop like right at the corner of the street. Got actually. it. And okay. so. And then in a in two months we're launching in a different online store, and uh, we're just slowly, you know, growing our our foothold in different locations. But how long my has focus been, has been. Yeah. How long has it been live? Uh, we I did a soft launch at the end of basically November uh-huh. of last year, and uh, my goal was to just you know acquire the first 100, 100 customers, get feedback, get like you know proof of concept for me, and yeah. it was a great turnout and. I got a bunch of people, basically 99 people, because D is the only one who doesn't use the product still. <laughs> yep. You know, but <laughs> you got my money, it's better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, he yeah. was the first customer. I will say, I literally posted it on my Instagram. The first ching was D Murthy. I was like, oh, that's incredible. <laughs> yeah. But we also did a podcast. Like he's he's helped me throughout this process. So nice. Nice. That was cool. So yeah. let me ask you this. Uh, unless D, do you have any f- Do you have a deal for us or what? Did you have a deal? Definitely have a deal. We don't normally do this big of a discount, but wow. I offer a twenty percent code is group chat, and uh, it's for the whole kit. But we also offer each product individually. So if you do have each, if you only need one or two of them, you can just purchase them individually what's, or a two. What's if you only want to do one? What do you? What can you? You can't live without. I wouldn't say only do one because in my, like if you use the cleanser, which is very important then your face is going to be dry. So if you don't add that mm. moisture, you're just going to be producing oil. So at the bare minimum, I would recommend the two set, the two piece set, which is the cleanse and the moisturizer, the hydrate. Um, that way you're just doing the basics of just like you're washing your face and then you're putting the lotion on, you know, and you're ready to go. Where do they go to use the code? Uh, on my website, conskin.com. That's K-A-H-N. Yes. Okay, here's my big final question. I know a lot of our listeners are... Uh, This is what I used to love to do on Short Story Long. I know a lot of people have been asking. (laughs) A lot of our listeners are uh, founders or wannabe founders or or like the idea of it or whatever. Right. You took the leap. You're in the game. What's the biggest lesson that you've learned so far by actually getting over that hump of launching a product? Well, for a long time, I was sort of just trying to make everything perfect and delaying launching. Of course, like it was in the middle, coronavirus happened, so yeah. it did cause some delays. But my biggest thing was just just get it out there, start mm-hmm. selling it and get feedback from customers and definitely listen to your customers yeah. because they'll, get, you know, at the end of the day, they know what they want. And yeah. if you provide them with the right product, then their their feedback is just going to be like, this is awesome. And yeah. that's really what I've gotten. Like I got, I was telling D, like people were messaging me saying, that they didn't really know what to expect. And mm-hmm. when they received it, it was just like the, the packaging, the, the product, the whole experience was so awesome yeah. that they're now like, you know, full on. They're just like, we're going to convert and become customers for you. Got it. So it's just a matter of, I mean, my thing was focusing on the product because at the end of the day, this is something that you're using and putting on your skin. Yeah. So make sure it's good. Like yeah. don't like make sure it's tested and everything. Yeah. And then the second thing is just do it, you know, and, and when you get out there, you can make tweaks along the way. Yeah. Big I'm Nike great. guy, huh? Yeah. Nike. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there you have it, man. 
<laughs> you can't say anything with D around. Yeah, I'm <laughs> kidding. The other problem too when you're friends with D and you yeah. come on the show, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Is you yeah. get a little bit of a different. He's not, he's not afraid to just stick it. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That, that's I mean, a good just sign. do it. I mean, you're just yeah. quoting the biggest. Right. Then, just, right. then just start. <laughs> just, just start. Yeah. Just begin. <laughs> just get started. Begin. Okay, good stuff, man. Thank Sweet. you. Congrats. Yeah, thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah, and we'll post the link on the on Instagram or. Yeah. Can't no, wait to go wash up, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm actually going to do it. Please do it. Please. I, mean, I probably haven't put soap, a soap product on my face in probably three years. I was going to say what? a decade. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Soap, other than trickling down from my shampoo, yeah. soap has I'm not touched my face. Trickle down economics. Yeah. <laughs> so that actually can also cause skin issues. The shampoo and the conditioner yeah. actually causes that. So you should probably wash your face in but the shower. I, I actually don't even shampoo. <laughs> the good news is I you destroyed. Well, D doesn't use body shampoo wash every two months. Oh yeah, that, yeah. I don't shampoo. I shampoo probably once every two weeks. Yeah, I I'm do trying to hold on to my hair. Once here. a week shampoo, but you use conditioner, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Here. For what? Conditioner is the most important part. That that's what moisturizes your hair. Coming next, yeah. 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 shampoo, yeah. conditioner. Well, that, that will be coming. Then I'll just so buy the conditioner when you make it. I ain't buying the shampoo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I feel that. I feel that. I I go low on the shampoo too, but. Okay. Cool. All right. Thanks, guys. Let's get into some news. Looks like I made it, man. I mean, the first order of news that I think we should talk about is it turns out I'm still more famous than I thought. Yeah, I mean, you got your own drama coin. I'm drama coin. I kind of hung it up, you know, a couple years ago, and I was like, celebrity life, not for me. Uh, You know, I had a good run, and now I'm just a regular working guy with a podcast. So, Uh, I mean, for 45 bucks, I get my own drama. Yeah. (laughs) I'm not going to lie. Not something I'm trying to invest in. <laughs> oh. Damn. Wow. wow. You're very quiet. So very quiet about your thing. So I don't know how much a coin like that's really going to... I mean, here he is. <laughs> this is a guy that works with us. This is a guy that works with us and has every um, incentive yes. for me to do well. Yes. yes. And my celebrity to rise. Yep. Not a big believer. Not a big believer. Hey, just prove just me remember, wrong. He believes more in Dogecoin. Is Doge that some sort coin? of reverse psychology? No, no. <laughs> he um, believes more in Dogecoin and Hogecoin than he does in, in drama coin. Drama coin. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's probably a safe bet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, why been, don't you this, upload your picture, like claim it, do it right? I don't know. So here's what happened. I simply, we last week were talking about Big Pick. Clout and we were talking about how it seems scammy and blah, blah, blah. And then over the weekend, somebody DM'd me my own Big my own yeah. coin so I have no idea if it's me maybe it's DJ drama I don't know maybe it's drama from Entourage but uh, <laughs> but it uh, 45 it, it, bucks it would appear to be me and it would appear that for 45 <laughs> bucks you can own me um, so I have no idea what to even do you feel do. like I, a slave well the, when you put it that way and you say that for 45 bucks you can own me yeah kind of I, I actively looked I, you know you can't search on the mobile app at least I was struggling to how to search because I was like I'll buy a coin I'll just be like I own Trump yeah and I just couldn't figure out how to do it yeah I don't know I, I, have, I didn't <laughs> click it I don't know but um Whatever. I mean, you know, it's celebrity life. It's 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 weird. You know, strange things happen. Yes. <laughs> but here we are. So I had a really good idea. If someone wants to be famous, this could be the greatest hustle. Yes. Yeah. Launch a coin, right? Yeah. Do put your picture up. Do it all. You gotta have a little money, because you're gonna go buy your own coin mm-hmm. for some absurd amount of money. Yeah. And bid it up. Yeah. It's like what's her name that used to do billboard? The pink lady. Yeah. Angelina, Angelina. Or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is Angelina, the digital world. Yeah. Just go and look for fifty grand. You could be the number one coin. Well, so what's Elon's? I think forty-five grand or something. What was this? Something like that. Oh yeah, seventy-six grand. I sure, forgot. Something like that. Under a hundred, but on under a hundred grand, you could be the number one coin on yeah. BitClout, which everyone is paying attention to every day. I agree. So just fix it and go. I think about it. If you were starting today and let's say you're a wealthy, wealthy person, you're like, I want to go be famous for under a hundred grand. The entire world will know digital world yeah. in this crypto kind of universe. will know who you are. That's okay. less than a college, college degree. I mean, nope. if you're going to, yeah, I mean, if you're going to USC quarter mill, <laughs> boom. This seems like something our boy Jesse could do. It seems right up his alley. The Jesse. guy who bought uh, the LeBron. Yes. Top shot. Yeah. He's got some disposable income from somewhere. Yeah. Why not? Spend another 50K. Yo Do is his name. That's a good yeah. name. It's a great name. Yo yeah. Do Coin. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen. If anyone wants a uh, very high risk investment, drama <laughs> coin. <laughs> Could fall off tomorrow. Could go to a million by yeah. the end of the year. I, I had an idea that I posted on Twitter for another version of BitClout. Okay. It was called uh, Bit Annoying. 
bit annoying. Yeah. Okay. Ah. And it's really a chart of the most annoying people in the world. Yeah. Because I thought about it, there are way more annoying people than there are creators. Yeah. And yeah. if you knew you were, if you, people thought you were annoying, would you change your behavior? Yeah. Would, well, so would you? Let, let's say you like so you're on you there for a thousand bucks. That means you're pretty fucking annoying. Yeah, that's yeah. something I'd bet on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that you know, would the be more called a you good get, investment. Yeah. <laughs> because the more you annoying you are as a person, right. technically, your life should decline in value. Yeah. So yeah. you have like this. Your incentive. life. You just said your life should decline in value because it means you're probably not getting work. You're probably not having friends because you're so fucking annoying. Yeah. So the idea is, is hold people accountable. Because similar to what you were saying, like it's almost like a reputation thing. Yeah. So this is, but get it straight to the point. Who is the most annoying person on earth right now? Donald Trump? Well, Fauci? Not, not right now. <laughs> That's Jake Paul? I'm sure to, to a group of people. Yeah, Jake Paul's pretty annoying Jake right Paul now. Paul not going to lie. Yeah, oh, I would say pretty, probably if you honestly took a look. Yes. If you honestly took a... Uh, Survey, Jake Paul might be up there. Over Trump. I mean, Trump's right been now, quiet. Yes. I'm sure people still hold a grudge, but I haven't heard much. Yeah. You can't be annoying if you don't hear from me. But if like a regular person is worth like Pete's coins, like three grand, he's just so fucking annoying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but how, so it goes up if you're more annoying? Or, yes. Okay, it goes up. Got it, okay got so it. you want to be more annoying. No, but sure. Your regular life will be deeply impacted if everyone <laughs> thinks you're annoying. They're, that's an annoying fuck. I'm not hanging out with him. Yeah, yeah but that annoying fuck makes three mil a year off this stupid coin. Like, <laughs> suck on that. I know, but I, I think it adversely <laughs> affects you. Suck on that. See, that's an annoying way to respond. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This can't be a top hundred in the world. <laughs> what do you think I'm trying to do right now? Pump and dump, baby. Pump and dump. Everyone's like, what is your, bo your boy <laughs> B0P? Um, yeah. Your, your screen name is annoying. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't used your name. Games. That's annoying. That's I tried to get your boy Pete and the guy scammed me out of 50 bucks. Yeah. I tried. Okay. You would be a top. Wait, you paid someone $50 and they didn't give you the account? Remember when I told you guys this story? Yes. Yeah, you told it was a year that. ago. Yeah. Was I here that day? It's about yeah. a year ago. So yeah, I, oh. I think all three of you because you made fun of me. But oh. I, essentially your boy Pete is out there. Uh, I DM'd him. He said, fine, PayPal me 50 bucks. I'll give it to you. Well, it takes 30 days. So I, pen, I PayPal'd him. And then he changed it, blocked it. Wow. And you're the guy. Money. you're the guy dissing me. <laughs> Funny Jesus. How that okay. Um, you ready to talk about some yeah. technology news? Let's do it. Love it. Uh, thread up. D, you've been very outspoken about some of these uh, sort of marketplace plays and, and things like that, but thread up uh, shares jumped around 43% in the very first day of trading. What is, uh, I'm going to be honest, I'm not incredibly familiar. Uh, is this. Uh, you have a positive outlook about this one, or how no, do you feel? No, I have nothing positive to say. Okay, all right. ThreadUp is a marketplace for you know consignment goods on uh, vintage, you know, old clothes. Yep. Similar to Poshmark, uh, similar to a real real, yep. similar to a lot of other people in this space. This business isn't growing that fast. Its uh, revenue grew modestly over the last year. Uh, in 2019, it grew modestly. Last year, it went it only went up 13% in revenue. Yep. And I think it only did $163 million in 2019. It's valued somewhere now, I don't know, $1 to $2 billion range. Yep. It's losing a lot of money. So is Poshmark. So is Real Real. So is obviously not a reseller, far fetch. All these marketplace businesses in fashion don't make any money. Why are they worth so much? It, these businesses aren't brand new. Most of these businesses have been around now for 10 years. But can I go back to the like the super dummy version and just say these are smart people? Yeah. Like, like meaning, I mean, I would argue that the people who created them are smart, the people betting on them are smart. Why are they worth so much? Is this just you're betting that someone's gonna figure it out? Yeah, I think everyone wants to believe that they are investing in the next Amazon, which lost money for whatever decades. But, but would you so would you say that Amazon created a hope yeah. that other people could follow that model that might that's probably very not realistic? Yeah, I definitely think, especially when it comes to e-com. 
in other categories in software and all those other things, there's uh, Microsoft. I, I mean, Microsoft, my guess, has been profitable since early days. But Salesforce is a good example of this huge company that I don't know, may or may not be profitable. I don't know off the top of my head. Yeah. Um, but in e-commerce, Amazon was the story that lost money for so long that turned it around. These other businesses, I don't believe... Okay, if you took Poshmark, ThreadUp, and uh, Real Real. Okay, so they're all selling, you know, allowing people to resell their old clothes, old bags, different categories. What do they think is going to happen to these businesses? You know, they don't own the inventory. They're Why are they losing so much money? But why does it continue to happen? I just don't get it. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense to me that this company... And by the way, like Poshmark's numbers are not good. Mm-hmm. ThreadUp's numbers are not good. It's not like they're shitting cash. If it was doing 180 million and making 50 million of profit, I'd be like, okay, this is an incredible business. Because the flip side is, in apparel, if you lose money, you're not you're not worth anything. You have to make money for yeah. anyone to even look at you. Yeah. And even when you do, apparel businesses trade at six to eight times EBITDA. Six to eight times. Yeah. That means if this business was making ten million dollars of profit, yeah, it would, be, it would be worth sixty million bucks. Yeah, it says worth a billion plus. So it doesn't make sense to me how these companies are valued. I don't. I don't see where you know you could you could tell me all their crazy visions of what they're gonna do. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna do this. We're sure. gonna do that. But like, dude, you had a decade. You didn't do it. Yeah. And you're not that big. You know how many apparel businesses are bigger than $180 million that no one's ever heard of that shits cash? Is there any other big marketplace like heroes? I'm sure people have. eBay. Was eBay losing money like that for a long time? Um, Unclear. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know eBay's history. I mean, shit. I mean, like. So it really is the impact of Amazon. Yeah. It just, man, I, I mean, look, I don't, uh, it just truly blows my mind. The fact that this continues to happen and these are all smart people and I don't see, I'd love to be told why it makes sense, but why does it continue to happen when I don't believe the outcome for 90% of these people is going to be at yeah. least good by by measure of what their valuation is. Maybe, it, maybe it's good. Maybe it's worth $100 million. Yeah, and by the way, the entire thrift shop market is $25 billion. $25 billion. The entire market. All of thrift shopping. <laughs> yes. And this is worth one of those billion. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. All right, man. And by the way, you've never even heard of it. No I chance know. Pete's heard of it. Tim looks like he may shop there, so he may have heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> I think Tim's going to the OG, the real Goodwill. Yeah, he's going to Buffalo. Or Do you go to any of those places? Buffalo Exchange? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 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 Crossroads. Yeah, yeah. Buffalo's a lot this cooler. Is from Buffalo Exchange. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. If you're going to, there's like the treasure hunt of going to a vintage shop, yeah. which Thread up or Poshmark, I would argue, digital treasure hunt is not the same. Yeah, interesting. Okay, well, we'll see, man. We're going to see a lot of these stories play out that we're talking about on the pod, but here's another one. Yeah, I mean, the best news is you don't have to have a good business to go public. And not even in a in a desired industry. Which I is, mean, in the case of Nicola, you don't even have to have a business to go public. Yeah. <laughs> just a you hot just name back it too. <laughs> hot name and a concept. Um, okay, what about? Let's talk about some uh, everyone's favorite topic, and that is politics. Politics. Boom. What's going on in Georgia? So the big thing I've been hearing about is Georgia. We got some uh, v- unfair voting laws being put in place? What's yeah, happening? so the state legislature, which is majority Republican, um, wanted to s- kind of pass some voter uh, kind of voter laws that really feel like suppression. I'm just, if, you were, if you talk to like a true liberal, they'll say 100% suppression. Yep. Um, and, and, and here are some of the requirements. They wanted to add uh, voter ID requirements for absentee ballots, which I'm not too sure how you do that. Um, okay. I guess when you turn it in, you have to share your ID maybe. I don't know. Limits access to ballot drop boxes while codifying them into state law. So I think it's like don't have them all over the place and easy accessible. Okay. Expands uh, early voting days for the general election, which I think that's good. That okay. makes it easier for people to vote. Criminal, criminalizes the practice of line warming, which is where people hand out water and food to voters standing in long lines, which oh is predominantly in black neighborhoods because they've removed a lot of uh, 
voting polls in Georgia in those neighborhoods purposely. So they want to use that. And then bans the use of provisional ballots uh, for most cases of out of precinct voting, shortens runoff elections, and eliminates the use of, of mobile voting buses, barring emergencies, and among other rules. So they don't want to allow transportation. So they're clearly targeting like the black community in Georgia. Mm -hmm. And this is where like, when people say like, you know, why like the Tims of the world exist, because this shit's insane. Yeah. And you, you have to, they go so hard the other way, then you have to go, the only way you can get it to the yeah. middle is you have to go so hard the other way. Yeah, that's true. And 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 this is the part, part, part of politics I don't think that we'll ever recover from because they lost the state, right, for for the, the United States Senate, which tipped the power to the Democrats. This is a move for the next presidential election, the next Senate election, to make sure they remain in power. Instead, the Republican Party should be like, huh, we're losing some of our core people. What can we do to gain them back? Maybe we need to move a little to the middle. Instead, let's just change the laws yeah. and make it harder for them. Yeah. I actually think this sealed the deal that Georgia probably would blew forever. Yeah. Because now, if you're black and in Georgia, you're like, fuck this. Yeah. You may not have known about this 10 yeah. years ago. Yeah. Because it wouldn't have been on your radar. But now you, because of social media and because of how more aware people are it's just going to cause like the yeah. state to just be those people are going to come out in droves and figure out how to vote earlier that's the good news is in the last four years politics was so top of mind yeah like i feel like if this change would have happened in 2012 no one would have even known no like in normal in like or, your everyday no we wouldn't have even paid attention to no. it we wouldn't have talked about it um but but it's nuts okay well look i do think you're right i think it's going to work against them yeah I think when you start to publicize, like, we're, we're against you, like, it's just going to motivate people to go say, screw you. I agree. No water in line. I mean, come on. Come on. Okay. Um, and then what's going on? I heard you talking about, it seems, I, I don't know if you're spending too much time at home, you know, because of the kids or like, what's going on? But I heard you talking about a new conspiracy theory. So first you were, you came in here and you I swear you had a tinfoil hat on when you got out of your car. <laughs> and then you were like, oh, QAnon, QAnon. Turns out you were talking about the new HBO special. Yes. Okay, so worth watching? Unbelievable. Because here's the thing. I've been reading a lot about QAnon for the last, whatever, year or two. So you're in. But now you get to see some faces. Oh. Interesting faces. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Do they seem Capitol Hilly or how, like, could you describe them? They're not necessarily. Um, honestly, the I watched the first episode and it didn't feel Capitol Hilly. It just feel, felt like bonkers. Like, I, yeah. like there's a couple with their kid and that poor they were kid. like, shit, you know, they voted for Obama. Then they found out about the cabal and oh. eating uh, babies and the pedophiles and, and they couldn't believe it. And then they were like at a Trump rally, build the wall, build the wall. Like these people have lost their fucking mind. I think my theory is that there was QAnon was much more to play in the Capitol Hill pro riot than we accept. I think it is 100% after watching this. I do. I think it was fueled by those people and maybe other, some others joined. But I don't think people know how serious that shit is. And I don't think people realize how big it is. It's kind of like when you like, um, you know, like, damn, that many people watch Queen's Gambit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that many people are on fucking It's like video games. It's like Roblox, you know? Yeah. You know, yeah. you're like, what the fuck? There's 40 million people on Roblox. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's, this is the Roblox for adults. It is. It really is. It's your new role playing. It's yeah. literally your new like... Um, was it Final Fantasy or what's the thing where you have your own little world and whatever? Yeah, Sim City or whatever. Because yeah. they're like they're literally like debunking clues. So anyway, that's not even the topic. So we'll talk more about that after I watch it. Yeah. Your new conspiracy theory is something about the Malaysian flight, the MH370 that went down. That was yeah. Was so there's a book this French woman is coming out with okay. uh, called uh, the Disappearing Act, and she is writing a 400 page book saying that the United States Air Force tried to intercept the plane and seize a shipment of electronic equipment 
that was en route to Beijing that the U.S. did not want China to have. And because they failed at it, they shot the plane down. And they said this type of plane, it's a uh, Boeing 777. Okay. They said it just doesn't disappear. Yeah. Like that's what the- It's just the, not possible. It's just not possible. Yeah. So this woman is convinced. And look, it's obviously a conspiracy. It's, you know, whatever you want it to, you can believe it. You can think it's full of shit, whatever it is. It is just in this day and age of aviation, you know, in, in the case of some of the other Boeing incidents, we Boeing has taken fault for it. I'm wondering what's really going. I mean that 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 flight was such an like anomaly. Like planes don't disappear. Yeah, you know, like where and so they're. Did they ever that, find that one? Or they no. found pieces? Did they ever find? Don't look at me. There was a few. I just, I'm confused because there was a few I thought that were kind of mysterious, but that one, I don't think they ever found anything, right? Yeah. And that's why they're, this this book is coming out, just kind of highlighting what's happening. And just, it's interesting because like, and the reason why I put the article up is watching that documentary, this is what drives people yeah. to come up with these, yeah. you know, like if we got the full lowdown on what happened, then I think we could accept accept it. The problem that in today's world, that in 30 years ago, 30 years ago, something happened. We accepted it at face value. Yeah. And then shit like Jeffrey Epstein happened. Yeah. Things started to happen. And then people are like, should we accept it? Mm-hmm. So now, even I saw conspiracies. Someone was talking about that the Suez Can- Canal is a conspiracy. To happened, shut yeah? down global trade and this and that. like I saw it tied to Hillary Clinton somewhere. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> so, I mean, like, you, here's the problem is that, like, I, I'm going to go and say 98% of things happen because they happened. Yeah. And then there's, like, the 2%. It's true. That, That's the problem. When those couple things get out, those couple real conspiracies get out, everyone's like, okay, then everything's a conspiracy. Exactly. And I think, I mean, who knows about this Malaysian airline thing, but... This woman has spent seven years <laughs> researching this. Okay. Probably has some interesting clues, maybe full of shit, yeah. 90% of it. But yeah. I'll read it. I'll read yeah. it for us. Okay, good. Yeah, I'll give you a book review. Yeah, it might be in French. <laughs> That's going to be a problem. That's going to be a major problem. Hopefully we translate. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I really do think we should consider a uh, tinfoil hat segment. Yeah. Where we talk about new conspiracies, especially now that you are a big QAnon guy. I'm interested. I'm learning more. It's fascinating. I think that it is truly a bigger thing than than we realize. Well, I also think given that how many people actually pay attention to the the 8chan, the parlor, yeah. uh, QAnon stuff, the fact that we don't cover it in mainstream media yeah. is actually a problem because we're not aware. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, insurrection happens. I'm like, you can't believe this happened. These fuckers were planning it for yeah. three years. Totally. It, like in, <laughs> out in the open. Yes. And they're like, ah, not those guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's totally true. And it was like military guys. I don't know, man. It's scary. Yeah. Because they still, they just keep moving the goalposts. They just keep saying like, oh, March 8th. Yeah. The <laughs> reckoning. And then it's like March 29th. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> and then one of these days so actually hits. I know. <laughs> I remember the January date. I, I had like a psycho friend. I remember he kept saying, January. January this, yeah. January that, and then fuck this happened. happened yeah. January. But they willed it into existence. Nothing happened. Yeah. They did it. Yeah. And then they're like, it happened. The storm. Yeah. It's called the storm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you call like the, whatever the big moment is, it's the storm. Well, they, they in the documentary, they give you all the phrases. Yeah. So you know how to like follow along. I mean, there is a very, very big group of people right now that do not believe that Joe Biden is actually our president. Yes, I believe that. And they also, because Donald Trump never conceded, he never conceded because he's still president. Yeah. So this is a serious problem, is that like if we push these people to the fringes and we don't understand it, yeah. then we get blindsided with the insurrection. Yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. Life in 2021. Um, let's talk about health. Yep. Uh, how many people in this country are obese? 40%? It's something really crazy. Yeah, it's high. According to Google, nearly 40% of American adults age 20 and over are obese. 71.6% of adults age 20 and over are overweight, including obesity. 
Forty um, percent is obese. Seventy-one percent is overweight. I'm probably overweight. No way. You think? Do you probably know your BMI? For like medical standards, I'm probably overweight. I weigh a hundred. Do you know your BMI? I'm overweight. BMI of twenty-five to twenty-nine are overweight. I don't know what my BMI. Obese is BMI of thirty or greater. I'm too thick. I'm way. So you're considered overweight. Oh yeah. No. Have way. you seen his thighs and his ass? I'm fucking overweight. No, I haven't seen your thighs or your ass. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I got a little weird there. Thanks for and asking. That's how it normally works. I have just large legs. So, like, it's really hard for me. But okay, well, being no my overweight wife, Pete. Way over. Okay, so listen. Obesity <laughs> is, is the big problem here. Um, it's a very real problem. And I think that we've looked at a lot of things. I mean, uh, um, um, uh, sedentary lifestyle, uh, fast food, um, sugar intake, all these different things. But we have a new article here about a new reason why the obesity rates are just shooting through the roof. Americans uh, gained an average of 20 pounds from 1980 to 2000. And one big reason why. McDonald's. The the decline of smoking. What? Yes. So the war against cigarettes, because, you know, Cigarettes are an appetite suppressant. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. What if it turns out that more people die from quitting smoking? Because <laughs> they're do? too much. What if heart disease and all this stuff outweighs the amount of people that were di- that you stopped from lung cancer? What do you do in that scenario? I so, mean, maybe I should start sure. a D2C cigarette brand. Why not? You You're overweight? Early. You want to lose some weight? Boom! Your, your lungs might not work, but yeah. hey. I mean, we <laughs> already know that everyone's addicted to nicotine, all these Gen Zers. Yeah. yeah. We've talked about cigarettes for a while. They might be back. I mean, the Cigs fact... Back. This, but what do you do? How do you reconcile that? In your mind, let's just yeah. say, I came to you, you're president of the United States. Yeah. God forbid. And... There's the quote. And and I come to you and I say, here's the numbers, blah, blah, blah. We believe very likely that this is why. How do you deal with that? Heart disease, stuff like that, just to clarify, heart disease, stuff like that has... has started killing more people than the old rates of heart disease, uh, obesity-related illness, plus uh, lung cancer and smoking-related illness. How do you, what do you do? So what I would do is I would form a committee. Yep. A nice, good start. Now you like that? I would form a committee. <laughs> <laughs> you, you might be cut out yeah, for this. Yeah. I would create a czar. <laughs> yeah, got it. Okay? And that type. czar, I would give him $5 billion. Yeah. Nice. And I would say, you need to develop a cleaner healthier version of nicotine. Yes. Because we need everyone on that shit. Yes. Because we can't have this overweight, obese lifestyle. We need an appetite suppressant that people enjoy at nights and weekends. Then maybe you could even do it at work. Suppress that appetite. Can't they just figure out something that could suppress the appetite that could be possibly any bit beneficial or at least like in the middle ground? Uh, athletic be... greens is it, but no one wants yeah. to take that. Yeah, you can't smoke it. If you could smoke it in yeah. a little pen. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's what athletic greens is for me in the afternoons. It's an appetite suppressant. It gives me enough to hold me over to dinner so I won't eat. Right. But unfortunately, it goes back to just what's easy and accessible and inexpensive yeah. is that people will... Cigarettes are not even cheap. No, no, they're so expensive. How much is a pack of cigarettes now? I think it's now like nine bucks. Yeah, right? nine dollars. Like I think in New York yeah. it's like twelve. Yeah, I think in New York they tax the shit out of it. I think it's way yeah. more expensive. I could be wrong, but I think so. I think so. Maybe I need to repeal that tax as president. Yes, as president. <laughs> Second thing I'm going to do: yeah. a former it committee, like former committee, a, a tax tax czar. Yes, and really investigate uh, because. I don't, I mean, I don't know the number. I'm, I'm sure smoking is worse for you than obesity, I would assume. Is it? I don't know, man. I think heart disease is <laughs> the leading killer, right? It's is it? the leading killer because there's more people on it. But a percentage of... But like diabetes, all this stuff comes from... Yeah. Right? I don't know, man. I wish we had the Monarch X guys just left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, we could ask the tough questions here. But I don't... I'm... Make I'm cigarettes sh- great again. Shakes yeah. Inside, baby. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to look here, too. It does look like... I have yeah, a couple it, friends that prefer to rip cigs instead of uh, yeah, it does um, look like the nicotine pens. Nicotine, <laughs> the main component of cigarettes, is thought to release neurochemicals in the brain, such as serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine, uh, which work to suppress appetite and facilitate weight loss. 
Well, I believe, I don't know. I mean, from what I've heard, I don't think nicotine itself is that dangerous. So I think you could cut straight to the source. That's pure. I think that's true. I think, I, I believe, and once again, I'd, I'd like to ask a doctor about this because I could really be spreading very false information. But I believe that nicotine pure is not that different from caffeine. Meaning like nicotine isn't what's giving you the cancer and stuff like that. I don't believe. It's the rat poison and the tar. And yeah, <laughs> it's all the other fun stuff. I believe. I, I, know, right. I know people that have said that. And I know people that use nicotine. Because then vape pens really aren't giving it to you straight either. Well, vape pens, apparently, according to even our friend, the main thing in there is like the flavoring. Yeah. That's like a very foreign thing going into your lungs. I don't know that for sure, but I know, let me say this. I know for a fact that nicotine pure or itself is way less dangerous than a cigarette or a vape pen. Here's the thing. I think we know how to treat heart disease better than we know how to treat lung disease. But you think that. We don't know that. I mean, heart disease, just given just my experience with my father, the tools that are available to treat the heart are insane. How many different options they have to treat the heart. Where there's people that have, you know, cardiovascular disease that can go live, go on to live for a very long, healthy life. But I don't, like, do we know 90-year-old smokers? Well, they they exist, yeah. They exist, okay. Okay, we're we're going to do some research into this. I don't know. I feel like a doctor wouldn't even tell us this because you're potentially… Um, Getting people addicted to cigarettes. Yeah, like saying, <laughs> hey, smoke instead of give, <laughs> cheeseburger. Yeah, get, be overweight. But um, okay, well, anyway, but man, that's you're, there's a bit of a predicament there for President D. D. Yeah. D. Ping there. <laughs> D. Ping. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and then last but not least, D. D. Ping. That'll be my presidential name. Yeah. Scary. <laughs> you have a lot of the same uh, leadership style. If you go, if you go as president, do I come with you? We'll just keep doing content. Yeah, you can be my chief uh, content. You can be my czar. czar of content. Yeah, you can be a YouTube czar. <laughs> content czar. Nice. I made D twenty twenty what twenty four. Yeah. Cool. No, I mean, I mean, twenty Need a years. years. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I probably won't be around twenty years. <laughs> we'll Where are you going? You think that no. obesity is going to catch up to you? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that ass and those thighs are going to take you. It's going to eat your eat, eat your face. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to make it that 20 year mark. I know you got 10 years. Oh, yeah, oh, shit. Pete died at 38. Yeah, those yeah. ass and those thighs. Man. Yeah, I think it really get to you, man. Oh, my God. Hey, keep running, huh? Okay, our boy, uh, Lil Nas X, has officially successfully trolled, I would say, the world. Everybody. Good for him, man. I'm a big fan of Lil Nas X. So, Lil Nas X came out as gay, uh, like, I don't know, a year or so ago. Uh, he has owned it better than anyone on earth has owned it. Incredible. Incredible. Like when I look at like the future of like how you could really change the acceptance, you know, I feel like uh, once again, could could be in trouble here for saying this, but I feel like there was kind of the gay like where where like Ellen came out as as gay and or lesbian and, and um, it was this really deep, big moment. And then there's like Lil Nas X who like is making memes yeah. and is like, I always knew. Like, I yeah. don't know. It just feels very Gen Z. And yeah. like, what's the big deal? Um, Tim, am I safe there? Yeah, you're good. Okay, you're good. thank you. Yeah. Um, so now he came out with a new single. And he has just went real hard on like the Satan stuff. Yeah. Because I think a lot of people, you know, like there's kind of like the Christian mm-hmm. thing. And then like the the gay and like Satan connection I guess those people make uh, and so he made a whole music video that like ties in some devil stuff he uh, released a pair of shoes that were limited to 666 pairs that he claimed were Satan shoes that he said um, contained human blood uh, 60 cc ink and one drop of human blood thousand dollars that one thousand eighteen dollars so there you go. And he has been just going balls to the wall online about like he even posted like a, a, a preacher that was going in on him. He's been just going going hard. And I've even seen it like pop up on TikTok, like um, younger people being like, see, you know, he's in the Illuminati. Satan got him, all that stuff. And, you know, in my opinion, this guy is just a master troll. He's like he's literally like t- the t- Takashi 6 9 like knowledge skill set. Um, but he's channeling it into this whole gay thing. And, and, and he's, he's a little more clever. Mm-hmm. So this shoe is a Nike Air Max. Um, you know, Air Max Day just came out. So it's like timely. The collab, everyone thinks it's a official Nike collaboration. It's actually a collaboration. The shoe is called Satan Shoes. It's with Mischief, the app. M-S-C-H-F. If you haven't checked it out, they do drops. They just did the Birkenstock uh, 
Birkin drop um, with Future. They just, they're, th- this is coming out on March 29th, 666 pairs. This is just like brilliant marketing by Mischief, brilliant marketing by Little Nas X. It is Nick Young, the basketball player, posted, I will never let my children wear Nikes. Blah, 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 blah. Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, I mean, because like he thought it was like a Nike thing. Mm-hmm. And maybe Nike okayed it behind the scenes because they, you know, I'm sure like they all are in cahoots because yeah. it's a good brand move for everybody. Mm-hmm. But the amount of people bashing Nike for it and probably... Has Nike made a statement yet? No. That's what's kind of interesting about this whole like like a uh, reseller like shoe, uh, shoe surgeon stuff. You like, can you do can whatever you want. It. Yeah, and it looks like a Nike drop. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, man, but I'm a big fan of any time um, you just kind of troll properly. Yeah, you know, it's really good. It's great marketing. He's a genius. Yeah, that guy. I mean, coming out with uh, Old Town Road when like he's a complete nobody and yeah. like that's the record you make and then Billy Ray Cyrus it's just it's literally I feel like he in one song almost the same way uh, Anna was pointing out which I think is very true about like the shelf life of celebrities once again and how it's getting smaller I also think there's another side of that where like one song and some brilliant social social media usage you can become like an icon yes to the new generation yeah. I mean the guy has one hit song yeah you know it's insane Okay. Well, there you go. Okay. There it is. Uh, good stuff. Yeah. Is Anand back this week? Next Anand's week. back. You know, we can ask him where he's been. <laughs> I'd like oh. to know. It sounds like it was uh, off the map. I mean, that was quick. We joked, you know, but that was quick. Yeah. You, you know. <laughs> the, you, money, the wire hit. <laughs> wire <laughs> Boom, hit. Boom, gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, Anand will be back this week. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, let's get to some shout outs. All right, guys. We are hopping into the shout outs and you're probably wondering, Pete, why the hell am I hearing your voice and not drama? Or D's? Yeah, I'm wondering that. Whoa, and then we have Tim's voice. Now you're probably wondering, what the hell are Tim and Pete up to, and where are the guys? Well, we killed them. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, we did. Tim, Tim, you took part in this. Okay. Just I'm kidding with you guys. On uh, you know, the busy, rich guys were far too busy and far too rich to stick around for the shout-out. So today, uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, you're going to see Tim and I here. Mm-hmm. You usually never see this. And for those of you listening, lucky you, you get to hear... Just Tim and I give the shout out. So if you send them in, we're going to do it a little bit differently today. If you send in ones, um, we see here, looks like we have a couple of them um, that were for the guys. We're going to save them for next episode. So if your shout out's late, don't blame it on us. Blame it on the guys that left. Uh, But we first have Kylie. Kylie out of Boston wants to shout out her boyfriend, Adam. Adam, March 30th is their nine year anniversary. So shout out to you guys for nine great years of love. Wow. Nine years of love. Nine years of love. That's what we love to hear. Uh, he introduced uh, Kylie to the pod just over two years ago, and they've been listening ever since. Get this. They listen to the episode separately oh. and then come together later and discuss about it. Wow. Talk about a real they group chat. They should start chat, a podcast yes. of discussing, them discussing them individually listening to group chat. Yes. And their takes on it. That could be every Tuesday, Thursday. I like that. Because we release every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Well, congrats to you, Kylie. And Adam, nine years strong. You fucking did it. Keep doing it. (laughs) Don't stop now. You're way too deep. Uh, We have another shout out as well. This guy did not give out his name, unfortunately, but he's from the Amish community, he says. Hmm. He says, hello, friends. Long time Kathy here. I also hope you're all having a great weekend. I would like to give a shout out to the people with too much money. There are a lot of people, example, Anid, out there who just keep hitting the lottery between IPO, stimulus, Dogecoin, and GameStop. And frankly, it needs to come to an end. I would like to know, what are your thoughts on an anti-stimulus? For example, uh, for someone who has been working through the entire pandemic, <laughs> me, and, me and Tim, he says, an example, oh, yeah. Yeah. love that, that owns at least $500 in Dogecoin. The government just oh withdraws 2000 from their bank account. This would prevent us from continuing to buy things like digital trees in a crypto forest with a tweet from Elon mm. carved into it with a coin named after an aquatic animal. Non-fungible token? More like non-refundable token. Ooh. Anyways, have a great week. So oh, I've he got wants, a good name for it. Wow. What? It can be called taxes. Oh. I, know, I think it's a genius idea. I think you're really onto something. Uh, yeah. There. <laughs> this guy is Jeez. revolutionary over yeah, here. Yeah. Revolutionary. Um, great idea. Uh, I am actually not for it. So <laughs> I, I'm very capitalistic in this idea. More money. More money to the people. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so too bad for you. We are against that. We'll ask the guys next episode what their thoughts are on it. Um, but 
for me, it's a no, Tim. I think that's also Satoshi. Okay, maybe think, Satoshi's biggest fan is his own is, self. Is also Satoshi. Yes, it's from a different email, though. Yeah, Clearly, I know. I'm this sure guy's he's got, got emails. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, not, I'm not surprised. <laughs> All right, let's get into Satoshi's group. Uh, shout out. What do okay. we got? Well, this one's actually from Guru Deep Murthy. Oh, wow. And said, hey, gang. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Recently, I thought to myself, if Pete can enjoy job perks, then why can't I? Because of that, today, I want to give a big shout out to my guys, Michael Garrido and Alex Avila from Nothing But Detailing for cleaning my car this past weekend. Michael is a big fan of the pod. It came through with the much needed cleanup. I highly recommend Nothing But Detailing for any and all mobile detailing services. They are LA-based and have a wide variety of fantastic services. Whether you're whipping a minivan like D and Pete, a white Lambo like Drama, <laughs> or a Prius like Tim, they got you covered. This I'm about to find out who Satoshi is in like 10 seconds. Yeah, because just gonna they're call the ones Mike. who, yeah. I'm just going to call Mike and ask him who he, because he definitely told them. Oh, I wonder if they're not going to like tell me. Well, this, he says this shout out would be instantly 10 times funnier if Tim actually drives a Prius. I don't. I don't. I don't drive a Prius. Look at me. You think I'd fit in a Prius? <laughs> yeah. I don't fit I in a Mini Cooper. I don't fit in a Prius. I don't, there's a lot of cars I don't fit in. Okay. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks again. Nothing but detailing for a great job. <laughs> <laughs> you really love that. I will say nothing but detailing does an amazing job. Um, I've got some extra work done in my car by them. They do a phenomenal job and they have a code. If you just go to their uh, Instagram page and you go to nothing but detailing, get connected there, DM them. The if end. you just say you're coming from group chat, they're also group chat listeners, you get a special discount on your car cleaning. Ooh. They're hitting me up like every two weeks now and doing my car. My car is not only smells good, but it looks good inside and out. They're giving this, they're doing this for Satoshi. Why aren't they doing this for me? You can, I'm well, practically a star of the, a star yeah. of the show now, <laughs> you, you know? know what? I'll, I'll, if I get word from Mike who this guy is, yeah. we'll work you in a nice little, uh, oh, okay. your okay. own detailing yeah. job done. Yeah, maybe I could be on that conference call. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If uh, you've got the time. Yeah, they got the you time. Know? So, I mean, yes, those guys uh, are great. They've been listening to us for a long time. So, just use the code GroupChat or tell GroupChat sent you. You get a special little discount on your next detailing job. Sounds good. Yeah, Sounds like an ad. Like, we'll, get, yeah. we'll, get, we'll get your feedback on how your car turns out. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Thank you so much. This has been Group Chat brought to you by Tim and Pete. Maybe we'll just take over from now on. Yeah, I think the fans would love that. You know, I think they probably enjoy this a lot more because they know nobody will listen to this. Drama deer on it. So mm-hmm. we can say anything. Tim, say anything you want right now. Mm, buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to... Really capitalize in this uh, moment. I mean, we're like talking shit about them, but I guess if you're <laughs> going to go to buttholes. Well, uh, I, maybe I should plug my podcast, Pen Capitalist. Make sure you tune in <laughs> next <to> week. <laughs> yeah. No, I've already sent a topic list on it. It got approved. This is happening. Wow. Yeah. There you go. And we're going to make it sleek and modern, not like group chat pod. How do you plan to make it are? sleek and modern? Well, we're not going to start out with, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, you know, because right. that's not the way people do podcasts right, anymore. Right, 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 you right. hop in and the conversation's already started already and you're flowing. like, whoa. Yeah. Almost like coming in. You're trying to like back up the, the, the slider on Spotify. You're like, yeah. where did this start? Yeah. Because you're just hopping into you're a conversation. Right that's the way it is now. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's what we're going to okay. do. Okay. Well, if you have somehow managed to stay this long into the episode, oh my God. Um, one, you deserve a medal. You are probably part of the 1% here. <laughs> 1% of the 1% that decided to stay this long. Uh, but now you got some insight on a new pod coming your way. That's right. So look out forward to that or look out, look out for that. Uh, <laughs> that'll be coming soon. Um, and Pete's pod, learning to speak. Learning to speak. Coming it's out I got the this, following week. I have Invisalign now. So it's like, oh, things get like, you know, congrats. Like, da, 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 da. What inspired so, that? Uh, my crooked ass teeth. Oh, okay. So that's good. As most will be inspired by. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. I'm done. Tim? Yeah. Okay. Bye, guys. Yeah, that's good. <laughs>